Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also configure automatic local backups for company files in Sage 50. Doing this creates regularly scheduled local backups of a company file using the Windows Task Scheduler by default, although you can also use other task scheduling applications if needed. To create a local automatic backup schedule, select File, Automatic Backup, from the menu bar. You may then need to click the Yes button in the User Account Control window to allow automatic backups to be configured. The Sage 50 automatic backup window that then opens lets you create the backup schedule. In the File Location section, the folder location of the current company file appears in the Company Directory field. If you need to change the company file, you can click the Browse button at the right end of this field to select a different company file folder in the window that then opens. To select where to save the backup file, click the Browse button at the right end of the Save Backup To field. Then use the window that opens to select the folder within which to save the backup files. If needed, you can enter the user credentials needed to create the backup into the User Details section. The user must have the full access security level to be able to create the backups. If needed, enter the username into the Sage50 username field. Then enter the account's password into the password and confirm password fields. If needed, you can click the adjacent Verify User Details button to verify the selected user's details. To select what information in the company file to back up, check the desired checkboxes under the Backup Settings section. You can check the company name in the backup file name, archived companies, and attachments checkboxes to add those elements to the backup if desired. To set what happens if a backup file already exists in the selected location, choose an option button under the If a Backup File Already Exists section. You can either automatically create a new file, overwrite the existing file, or stop the backup process. After specifying the automatic local backup settings, click the Save or Save As buttons to save the backup settings as a new backup configuration file. These files end with the PTC file extension. In the Save As window that opens, select where to save the backup configuration file and type a name for it into the file name field. Then click the Save button to save it. The name of the file then appears in the title bar of the Sage 50 automatic backup window and the commands for scheduling the backup appear in the Scheduler Options section at the bottom of the window. To use the Microsoft Task Scheduler to schedule the backup, click the Schedule button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open the Schedule Backup window. Then use the Schedule Task drop-down and the Start Time field to select how often to create the backup and at what time to start it. Then set the additional options depending on what you selected from the Schedule Task drop-down in the section below. When finished, click the OK button to set the schedule. Alternatively, if you want to schedule it using another scheduling program, you can copy the command line from the Scheduler Options section in the Sage 50 Automatic Backup window, and then paste that into your desired scheduling program. To run the currently selected backup configuration immediately, if desired, you can click the Run Backup button in the toolbar at the top of the window. To create a new backup configuration, Click the New button in the toolbar at the top of this window and then repeat the entire process again to configure it and save it. To open another backup configuration file, click the Open button to launch an open dialog box. Then navigate to the configuration file to open in the dialog box and double click it to open it. If you make changes to the current backup configuration file and want to save them, Click the Save button in the toolbar to save the changes to the existing file. To view the backup log file for the selected backup configuration file, click the View Log button in the toolbar at the top of the window. To delete a backup configuration file, click the Open button in the toolbar at the top of the window to launch an open dialog box. Use this to find the backup configuration file. Then right-click it within the window, 
and select the Delete command from the pop-up menu that appears to delete the backup configuration file using the File Explorer window. You can then close the Open dialog box. To close the Sage 50 automatic backup window when finished using it, click the Close button in the toolbar at the top of the window, or click the X button in the upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.